What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. This is the second video in the HTML tutorial for beginners playlist. The first video was an introduction to HTML where I spoke about some of the tools you're going to need in order to code, which are basically just a computer, a good web browser like Chrome or Firefox, and a quality text editor like VS Code or Atom. If you haven't seen that video or if you need a refresher, go check it out first. Otherwise, let's get started with coding with HTML. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification icon so whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. Also, a lot of the code snippets you'll be able to find on my website, piximrub.com. I have the code snippets here. You could always just copy it to your clipboard by clicking on the copy link in the code snippet area, and then you can paste it in your text editor. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is create a project folder. We're gonna be starting from scratch. So to do that, I'm gonna go into my file explorer and into my desktop. So here, I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna name it HTML. Now what I wanna do is go into my text editor and we're gonna be using VS Code for this series of videos. This is the partially finished project here but we're going to be starting from scratch. So I'm going to close out of this folder, go to open folder, make sure I go to my desktop. I'm going to click on that HTML folder right there, select folder. We can X out of the welcome screen here. Right now you see we have nothing here. This is the HTML folder right there. We can create a new file or a new folder. First thing I want to do is create a new file and I'm going to call it index.html. And now we have a new file here and we see the file in the left hand side right here. So we have to use the .html extension so the web server will know that we're working with an HTML document. Now once you start working with advanced programming like using a dynamic language like PHP or Python, the file extension can change. But for now, we're just going to be using the .html extension. Okay, so now we created this. I'm going to go back to my file explorer. I'm going to go into the HTML folder and you see we have that file created right there. Let's double click it and we see we have nothing here. We haven't added any code so that's why. If you inspect the elements, you see we have just the basic stuff that the browser is automatically generating but we have nothing here. So let's change that. Back in my editor, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on this double folder icon just to get rid of the sidebar. If you want to get it back, you can just click it again. First thing we need to do is learn about HTML elements, tags, and attributes. So basically a web page or an HTML document consists of HTML tags that tell the web browser what to do with a specific piece of content. Some content is going to be viewable by the person visiting your website on the front end and some information is only going to be viewable by the browser unless you're viewing page source. So let's start from the top. Every HTML document should start off with a doc type. A doc type is going to signify what type of HTML you're going to be coding. And in this case, we're just going to be sticking to HTML5. That is the standard. That is what's used. So that's what we're going to use. So to do so, we're going to type out the lesser than symbol followed by an exclamation point. And then you can type out doc type. It could be all capitalized or it could be lowercase. We're going to leave it capitalized for now. And then we're going to say HTML. Then we're going to close that with the greater than symbol. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So here we have the lesser than symbol, exclamation mark, doc type, followed by HTML. This has to be the first line within your document. Now the second set of HTML tags we're going to be learning is going to be HTML. And you see the text editor, in this case VS Code, automatically created the closing part of the HTML tag itself. Press enter or return to go to a new line. So for the opening part of the tag, it's written out like this. And for the closing, we have the slash here. That's how you can signify the opening and the closing. Now, not all HTML tags are going to have a closing tag with it. Some of them are going to be self-closing and I'll demonstrate those as we go along. But this is the first tag here that we're going to be working with after the doc type. Everything that we code out next is going to go in between the opening and closing HTML tag. Now the second tag we're going to learn is going to be the head tag. Again we're going to use a lesser than symbol. 
type out head, close that off with the greater than symbol. Again, my text editor created the closing part of this tag itself. I'll bring that to a new line as well. As you see here, the code is indented, which makes it easier to read and easier to manage as your code base gets larger. Properly formatting your code is going to be something that's important, and you'll learn more about that as we go forward with this project. So here we have the head section. This is not to be confused with the header section, which is another HTML tag we'll learn about later on. But the head section, the head area of your HTML document is where we put some information that's going to be important for the web browsers. And in an upcoming video, I'll go more in depth on what goes into the head section. But I just wanted to type this out for you so you can see how this looks. But basically, we can also put in a title. Now, this is going to be the title for the actual web page itself. So for this particular document, let's type out HTML tutorial, and let's save that. Let's go back to our browser. Let's reload. And nothing happened here except you see here in the tab on top, it now says HTML tutorial. If we go down here to the uh, inspect elements area, we now see we have the title HTML tutorial right there. You could also change it here if you want, but this will only impact your browser itself and it's not going to be permanent. But let's say you want to call it something else like CSS tutorial. Now we have that label up here. But again, this is only within your browser itself. The second you refresh it, it'll go back to what you have in your text editor. We then can put in a meta tag. And if you notice, the editor did not create a second part to this tag. This is one of those self-closing tags. But right now we have our title and our meta tag right here within the head section. Okay, so now outside of the closing head tag over here, I'm going to press enter return two times just to give us some space. The next part that you're going to be working with as we go along through this project is going to be the body tag. And this time the editor created the matching pair for that. I'm going to press enter return a couple of times just to give us some space. Now everything that you code in here will be visible on the front end. So right now if we save this, nothing's visible yet because we have to put code within these tags. Basically what's happening is the browser is taking a look at what's called the document object model, the DOM. It's going through the various HTML tags and it will determine what to display on the front end. So for instance, I'm going to put in an H1 heading tag and as you see it has the matching pair for that. I'm just going to say heading 1. I'm going to save that. Go back to the browser. I'm going to reload. And now you see we have heading one there. Now let me go back to the editor. And I'm going to type out the paragraph tag. And that also has a matching closing pair. Save that. Go back to the browser. Reload. And now you see we have, this is a paragraph. Let me make that bigger. Now again, if you want, you could always go to my website, pixelweb.com. You can go to this section here from the home page. Go to HTML. And you can go here to any one of these sections that have code snippets. You can copy it. Go back to your editor. Let's say we wanted to remove this or we wanted to start from scratch. We could paste what we copied right there. And that could be your starting point. I'm going to undo all that. And that's pretty much the basic syntax of HTML. Now, there are a lot of elements and we're going to go over a ton of them here. We're going to be creating contact forms. We're going to be creating video embeds and things of that nature. In the next video, I'm going to go over what should be within the head section of your HTML based document. This is important because it's going to provide information to the search engines like Google. That'll be important for search engine optimization, for displaying a description of your 
web page within the search results, things of that nature. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit the notification bell so that way whenever I create a new video you'll be notified. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Happy coding. Mm -hmm.